Now we can see the witch's magic emanating from her hand in the form of a blue mystical power. She's casting a spell on this opposing force in green, and even knocking some of the people off of this steep cliff. If you look at the sign next to the cliff, it says 200 feet drop. So this sign, along with the people about to fall off, should help you remember that AIDS is diagnosed when the CD4 positive cell count is 200 or less. You should also know that AIDS can be diagnosed at a higher CD4 count if an AIDS-defining illness is present. A few great examples of this would be pneumocystis yidovechi pneumonia, mycobacterium avium complex, or Kaposi sarcoma. We cover all of the specific AIDS-related diseases in each video corresponding to the causal pathogen, so we're not going to cover that information again here. Next, notice that we've shown the witch simultaneously shocking an enemy soldier. If we zoom up, you can see that this person is trapped in the green net, which represents the lymphatic system. The cancer hope ribbon represents cancer, and the brain getting shocked should make you think of the central nervous system. So putting these ideas together should help you remember that HIV can cause primary central nervous system lymphoma. Imaging often reveals ring-enhancing lesions, so to help you remember this, we've shown the witch with rings on her fingers that are directly adjacent to the brain. This condition is associated with EBV, so we introduced a similar idea in the EBV image. The ring-enhancing lesions in an HIV patient can be a tricky topic, though, because toxoplasma can also cause ring-enhancing lesions in HIV patients. So if an HIV patient presents with a ring-enhancing lesion, how will you know if it's due to EBV or toxoplasma? Let's go to our EBV image to review primary central nervous system lymphoma and answer this question. This is our image of EBV. Recall that the guy electrocuting the poor Smurfy right here represents that EBV can cause primary central nervous system lymphoma in AIDS patients. So toxoplasma is the most common cause of ring-enhancing lesions in an HIV patient, which means empiric treatment for toxoplasma may be started. This also means toxoplasma should be your go-to answer choice on a test if an HIV patient presents with a ring-enhancing lesion. However, if empiric antibiotic treatment for toxoplasma doesn't work, then primary central nervous system lymphoma should be suspected, and testing for EBV should also be considered. Another way to distinguish primary central nervous system lymphoma from toxoplasma is by obtaining a biopsy. Obviously, this is a bit more invasive, but this is the definitive way to obtain an accurate diagnosis. And if the patient has a lymphoma, then the biopsy will reveal neoplastic B cells. So if you look at the EBV image, you can see that there are a bunch of arrows and archers around the guy with the rings. For example, right here, right here, and over here. The archers and arrows are a symbol for B cells, which should help you remember that primary central nervous system lymphoma is due to neoplastic B cells. This is high yield, remember. Primary central nervous system lymphoma is due to neoplastic B cells, and it's associated with EBV. All right, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the HIV image.